In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to build one of my McLaren 2023 F1 cars. Okay, so first things first, here is all the parts that I use to build the car. And of course, if you need to pause at any point during this to double check the parts, feel free. But I will be going through them obviously one by one as I build the car as well. If you find it more comfortable to watch this video at 1.25 or 1.5x speed, then feel free to do that as well as the build may be a little slow at times. Okay, so we're gonna be starting off with the floor of the car. So obviously, most of the F1 cars have, I think it's actually wood at the bottom of the car, so that's why I have this tan plate here. I need a couple of these curved plates as well to go along with it. And then the next step is to get one of these four by four plates, and that goes a couple of studs back, and that connects all these other parts together. And then for the next part, you need all of these pieces here. So you get the two by three plates, connect them under there and same on that side as well like that and then these two just sit here just for now and the next thing to do is get the one by four plates snap them on and they go on both sides and they'll connect the other plates that we put on on the last step and then now at the front just get a two by four plate and connect that in there so and again continuing on with the floor of the car so adding some tiles on the corners and then just down the side as well, a couple more tiles, same on both sides. So we've got a one by two and a one by one on both sides. And then we get two of these long one by eight plates and they just rest in there, they don't connect just yet. And we get the six by one plates and then they will connect it all together. So I've used two here, but you could obviously just use one two by six plate instead. And then I grab some two by four plates and continue building down the side of the floor like that. And then next to the tiles on both sides, get a one by four plate and pop that in on both. Then a two by six plate. And then underneath a two by eight plate, so that just joins up to the tan plate that we put on in the first step. And the car should be looking like that at this point. Then again here, more of these one by six plates. Again, you could use a two by six. And now we're adding in our first wedge plate, so that will complete the main body of the floor. So one that side and one the other side, facing that way. And we get another one by four plate. And I had actually just built this wrong. Uh, so these one by eight plates, they just need to go all the way back like that. So the bottom of the car should look like that. And then now the top should look like this. And then I've got this two by one plate that just goes at the front there. And then get one of these funky pieces and then that will attach in the middle of the bottom of that plate. So now that'll be in line with the rest of the car. And then we get two one by four plates and they will go on here. And again, feel free to pause at any point if you need to see exactly what I'm doing. And then I've got some one by twos and one by one plates, or of course you could just use some one by three plates and they will connect in down here. And that is the same on both sides again. So just like this. But then using the same pieces again, we're gonna create a corner plate, which again, you could just use a corner plate for. But some of the pieces I've used in this are just what I had available at the time. And of course, if you want to make yours slightly different with the pieces that you have available, then of course, feel free to do that as obviously this is what I've done in some places of this build. And then the next thing to do is grab a two by three plate and a jumper plate. And then with the two by three plate, you'll connect the piece that we connect, put on the front earlier. And then the jumper plate just goes behind. And we get a two by four brick, and then that goes on the back there. And then a one by four brick just goes in front of it. And same two pieces again, it's got two by four, a one by four. And of course you could just use three two by four bricks there. I've also got a one by two brick, which goes in front just like that. So we got two one by four bricks and they attach either side of the one by two that we just put in. Two one by one bricks and they will connect just in front of them and they'll be slightly lower than the bricks that we put in on the last step. And then we're just gonna use one by one plates to bring that up so it's all the same level down the side of the car. So now we'll get two one by two plates and they'll snap on. And if you haven't guessed already, this will be the front of the car and that is the back of the car. A couple of tiles, they'll go on the insides there and on there. And then we just want to get a one by one plate and put that next to the two tiles that we just put on. And then we want to get one of these 
clip pieces and that will put onto the jumper plate whilst we can still access it in the middle which is where the steering will attach to. So then for the steering, get this like game controller piece and then it clips onto one of these plates just like that and then that will clip in 